Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Lenny and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry and I'm just doing another catch up because I'm still in here. Stuck here. Um, so yeah. and uh, It's been about two weeks I think since I did one. So yeah I just thought I'd catch up again. I keep meaning to do a video about my machine and every time I see it in the background of videos I think oh I must do that video and then totally forget um but that's my breathing machine that keeps me alive i guess um it's weird because i don't know if you can see the red plug there it's got life support written on it which is weird it's a bit it's a bit freaky but yeah um but anyway um i will get around to doing that video I also thought about doing a video on diabetes and the insulin thing, as well as, like, showing how you do it, etc. I'm not really sure if, like, anyone would be interested in... Interested? Not interesting? <laughs> um, or, like... And then it's like, well, do you show the blood? Because people are funny about that, and it doesn't bother me. Um, but, obviously, other people are in the needles although you don't see the needles because they're inside um and so you don't see them inside the pens yeah that's a word but um if you would be interested let me know and uh then maybe you know we'll, we'll can show that um speaking of the diabetes i might as well start with that uh i spoke to the diabetic nurse on thursday it is currently monday the 16th of September and I spoke to her on Thursday gone and uh, she up my um, insulin units to 42 I was on 38 and she upped them to 42 whereas like when I do it I just do it by two every five days um, my sugars have been between 12.5 and 18.3 um so again they've come down uh still not to where they should be but getting there getting there so that's good um might as well straight go into diet shall i <laughs> diet's been fine um i did have a takeaway on tuesday gone so a week yesterday no a week tomorrow yeah can't be a week yesterday that was sunday you wally anyway yeah a week tomorrow i had a takeaway um it's definitely a eyes are bigger than your belly thing although not in my place obviously because i'd have to have giant eyes eyes but um in terms of <laughs> i think when i when I allow myself to have something like that, there's all of suddenly this thing is like, well, I want to try everything. I want to have everything. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, can't do that. I had, um, I had salad. What else did I have that day? Oh, I had an oat muffin on the morning, and I had a salad on my dinner. And then obviously, that left the rest of the calories for the takeaway, which still probably was over. Um, I got a 10 inch garlic bread with cheese and mushrooms, which is like absolutely love. Then I got, um, well, me and David shared some Donna meat and chips, like a portion of Donna meat and chips. Um, and then, um, oh, and I also got red cabbage and white cabbage because I just love it from the uh, pizza shop. So anyway, I had a bit of that. I had half of the pizza. Uh, the garlic bread, sorry, and I had um, all of the donna meat and the chips, and I was absolutely stuffed. And I, to be honest, I was I was af absolutely stuffed. Probably less than I actually. I ate more than I should have. God, how do you get your words out, Lainey? So, I ate more than I should have because I was already stuffed, and then I got David to take away the other half of the pizza the garlic bread because I would have had that as well because it was there do you know what I mean even though I was stuffed which is kind of strange because my brain just doesn't stop that it's like it's there so you just gotta eat it you know what I mean it's weird but anyway um so 
yeah, I had that. Um, and I, like I said, I'm not really sure calorie wise what it would have been. I think I put down something like fifteen hundred, but it could easily have been more than that. You know what I mean? Probably is. But anyway, um, since then I just went back. So I'm doing twenty because I was doing twenty five hundred and fifty. And after having the takeaway, I knocked it to 2,500. Um, my aim is, by the time I get to Christmas, I'll be on 2,250. So I'm going to... Wait a minute. How many do I need to knock it down by to get to that? Because that's 250 calories, isn't it? I'm really bad at maths. <laughs> and everything involves maths. <laughs> um... I don't know. I just can't. I can't compute at the minute, to be fair. Um, but yeah, by the time I get to Christmas, I want to be on twenty two fifty. I think. Is that what I was thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, no, actually, because I was thinking of starting the year on twenty two hundred. So going down fifty calories a month. What would that take us? What month are we in? So it's September. October, November, December. So that's 150 calories. So if I'm on... Yeah, so that would mean I'll be on 23.50 by the time I come to Christmas and I want to start... No, I wanted to start the year at 22.50. So another 100 calories after Christmas going down. So that by the time I get to June, which is near my birthday, I'll be at around 2,000, yeah? <laughs> Okay, whatever. We'll see what it, we'll we'll yeah, we'll we'll see. I'll just work it out when I get there. Anyway <laughs> Um I have got a few pictures, actually three. I've got three pictures which include this morning's breakfast of crumpets and a banana. So I shall show that and then there was two different salads. Um I'll show them. Because everything else I've had has been pretty samey. Why have I froze? I don't know what's going on. It keeps freezing. I've tried to record a few times. I'm like looking down to see if I'm still <laughs> unfroze. But yeah, it looks like I am. Anyway, <laughs> what I was saying was I shall put the pictures in of the, th well, the three pictures I've got of the food, uh, the, 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 uh, the food I've had within the last two weeks. The rest of what I've had has been pretty samey. Things you've seen hundreds of times and stuff, so I didn't bother. And plus, my favourite Kara, who is a really good cook, is not is on holiday, but she so deserves. But, yeah, hence, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'll put them in now. So as you can see, there was the two salads, which one was Tesco's simple salad with half a pack of wafer thin oak ham, which I believe was 210 calories altogether, including the sour cream sauce thing. And the other salad was the rest of the ham and the um, Tesco's um, Caesar salad. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't all of the uh, lettuce, but it was all of the sauce, all of the croutons, all of the um, parmesan, is it? Whatever you call it, I don't know. Um, and that one was 415 calories. And then the last picture was um, my breakfast from today, which was two crumpets and a banana, <laughs> sourdough crumpets, Um there were about 100 calories each, plus some flora buttery and a banana, as I said. Um, hopefully I'll have more pictures next time I record. But moving on from the food stuff, um, it was um, Jasper's 10th birthday. So Jasper, if you don't know, is our dog. <laughs> um, he is a lurcher. Uh, we did get his DNA done a long time ago uh, because I was told he was a whippet cross 
Bedlington Terrier and he just kept growing and growing and growing and he looked very saluki like um he had the long ears um and so we got his uh, DNA di DNA did great english learning uh <laughs> and it came back as mostly saluki but he also has greyhound beaded collie um irish wolfhound and poodle yeah <laughs> well whatever that is anyway i will insert two photos which is like a group of photos of him on both pictures um and yeah you can you can see I mean, I know I'm biased, but he's just a gorgeous boy, and he's such a he's he's just got such a lovely, you know, nature. Is that the word, nature? Um, and despite not having the best start, um, because we got him when he was twelve weeks, and he'd been in a shed for his whole life, bless him, up until then, and he didn't have any clue about socialising or out. But yeah, he's lovely, and um. Next thing is the tribunal, and there's nothing really to tell you. <laughs> um, it's just basically no news, basically. Yeah, nothing's, nothing's happening there. Uh, so I'm just, I guess, just waiting for an appointment to come through, and hopefully it's this year, because I just want it out of the way, do you know what I mean? That would be good. Um, next thing i shall talk about all right so the charity event i mentioned it last week not last week two weeks ago when i did the last video well whenever it was i mentioned it then um and i haven't really organized any of it yet or started to have thought about it but not really you know put anything down officially um i need to speak to Nick and Andrea with regards to everything so I'll do that and then we'll get it into motion because before we know it it'll be the end of October because you know we're on like mid-September and like where's it gone you know what I mean it's like over two weeks of September already it just doesn't feel like it um so yeah um also, I'd like to say a massive congratulations to Nick and Andrea um, on their eBay award because they, um, they received the community award through eBay and it is fully deserved and, yeah, I'm really chuffed for them. So congratulations to them. Um, the reason I brought up the charity event is because I've been editing the channel hop which is the original charity event which uh happened in my second year um which i'm assuming you all know but it started with a dream and honestly watching it back and just you know getting all the highlights together and all of that like i just don't even know how it how and like given everything that was going on at that time as well i mean it uh, in a sense it saved my life you know what i mean why am i getting upset <laughs> Ooh. went through like so <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> it, like it was just amazing like what we all achieved really like I, I just the whole thing it, did, it was like yeah and like I said it, it kind of saved me at the time maybe <laughs> in the sense of everything that was going on, it gave me that this such a huge focus and to have something like so positive come out of something so yeah, quite something so sad really. Not so much negative but just sad. And it yeah, 
it blew my mind. It still does. And I, like I said, watching it back and, and, and all it, it just, God, I still can't get my head round about, round, round about. <laughs> I can't get my head anywhere, can I? <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I mean, it, that video doesn't come out till um, I think it's the October the 24th because I was putting them out every Sunday but my look, look at me looking at um, your al algorithm is that what it's called? why am I doubting that? I don't know but anyway looked all into that and it says Thursday at 6 o'clock was the best time to post things so I did but to be fair the videos that I've done and not really doing that well and um, I guess it's just that sort of reference to the people who were there at the time and a lot of them people have moved on because that's just life isn't it um, and I did think oh well is it worth doing but I think it is I think it's worth doing just for me anyway you know <laughs> I mean obviously it's great that other people are getting to see bits back in the highlights but it honestly it's be it Whilst being stuck in, it's helped me a lot just to keep me focused. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely still detest editing. It's just not my thing. And and I know there's people out there who actually love it. But, yeah, it, it's not my cup of tea, to be fair. Anyway, moving on from all of those. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is getting outside. I still haven't, obviously. Um... But, but, we have news. We have good news, finally. <laughs> it's kind of long-winded, but I'll get there. So, I think I told you the last time that they wanted us to see wheelchair services, and I also had to have a second visit by the OT and physio for rehabilitation to be sure that, I don't know, that I could do it whatever anyway that second visit happened that was fine did it great sat back in robo well no i didn't sit in robo bitch i sat in my manual chair less of a bitch i don't know what we'll call it anyway uh because obviously uh, they said i couldn't use it because of insurance etc 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 fair dues and plus to be honest it's easier because i'm only in it for two minutes it's easier to put in place and the electric wheelchair because if you don't know how to use it it's very unforgiving anyway so i did that that was fine and they moved it forward because it was meant to be later in the month and the move they brought it forward that had a cancellation so she asked us if she could bring it back to the 6th and i was like yes great so that happened on the 6th of september um and then i uh, told you it was just was birthday was that that was the 10th i don't know if i said that um and yeah so that was fine anyway she rang me no when was it she rang me last week basically and said um that re reabilitment were happy to start the next day i was like oh wow uh Oh no, so it was Tuesday. She rang me on Tuesday, saying Ray Evelman was able to start on Wednesday. I was like, oh wow, that's fantastic. Then she rang me two hours later to say that wasn't going to be the case because Ray Evelman wanted the physio and the OT to be there for the first time. Fine, so now it's tomorrow. So it's today is Monday, it's Tuesday, tomorrow, the 17th. Great. Now, I also got a call on Friday from Wheelchair Services arranging a visit on the 26th, which was way quicker than I expected. However, in speaking to her, she said, so you feel like you're going to fall out? I was like, eh? I went, no. She went, well, apparently there was issues with the cushion and you felt like you were going to fall out. I went, no, I don't have a cushion. Oh, I seem to have wrong information then. So she went back in the thing and had a look. And then she went, so do you need us to come out then? Do you need an assessment? I went, well, as far as I'm concerned, no, because everything's fine. The only thing that was missing was this thin cushion that I was supposed to be ordered. So she had a look. And anyway, it was January. She said, 
you won't be surprised to hear this, but it was January 2020, no, January 2022, that the cushion was ordered and classed as an emergency. And I went, oh, well, I'm still waiting, by the way. <laughs> so she was fine. She was lovely. She said, well, if you're not having issues with the wheelchair, we don't need to be, you know, you don't need an assessment. And I says, well, I don't think I do, because... You know, I've used it for young, isn't it? She says, does it fit you properly? Are you comfortable in it? I was like, yes, it's all fine. Um, and then she said, um, well, I'll take it back to my manager just to make sure and see what they say. Um, and I was like, okay, fine. So that's why I'm with that. Now, whether she... I'm going to obviously... I don't know whether she'll have contacted me or... I haven't heard from her since, basically. So it's uh, that was Friday, it's Monday. So obviously it's not that far away. So um, I don't know whether she'll get back in touch with us or when my OT comes tomorrow, I'll speak to her and say they've said I don't need one. You know, if I don't think I need one. <sighs> I froze again, I don't know how long for, but no. Nah, I don't know what's wrong with this bloody camera. It's uh, the, the connection's loose, you know, when you put it in the thing, but I think that's more the computer. But I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> I mean, I've had it a long time, the webcam, I've had it. Uh, and actually, it's not really that long, is it? Like three years or something. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how these things work or why or what or why for. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying now. Um, oh, I think I was saying that I'm going to speak to the um, OT tomorrow to see what she says because I don't know if they have gone back to her and said, we don't think she needs it. I think my OT, as lovely as she is, is very strict on what she does. And that can be a good thing because there's so many who just sort of pass the book, I suppose. But, yeah, maybe that was the case. Um, I think that's everything. Mm. Yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I've waffled on pretty much. I don't know how long I was frozen on the last bit. Hopefully not that long so that it actually works and you can still hear, at least. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I hope everything is good for everybody else. And, um, yeah, I shall speak to you soon, however long that may be. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye-bye.